Okay, so let's have a look at the in-class examples from the last lecture. In part A, we need to sketch the graph of the oscillation of the wave shown for the point on the wave at which x equals 0. In other words, this point here. So, at x equals 0, we want the graph of the oscillation. So that's displacement versus time. Well, we know we know one point on the graph already because obviously at time t equals zero and at the position where x equals zero we can see that the displacement is equal to zero so our graph is going to go through this point. We know that it's going to be sinusoidal in shape so all we need to decide is is it a positive sign in other words is it initially increasing in displacement or is it initially decreasing in which case we draw a negative sign. The way we do that is by looking at the direction that the wave is moving in relation to the particular point that we're interested in. In other words, at x equals 0. So if we have a look at the wave, if we have a look at what's going on at x equals 0, we know the wave is moving to the right. So imagine a time, a very short time interval after t equals naught. Where will the wave profile be? Well, the wave will have moved in this direction. So the profiler looks something like this. And if we look at the displacement now at x equals 0, we can see that it's gone from being 0 to being a negative value. So, back to our graph of the oscillation. We know that as time progresses, initially the displacement moves in the negative direction. So the graph of oscillation must look something like that. OK. So for part B, we want the graph of the oscillation at the point on the wave where x equals lambda over 2. So half a wavelength along from where we were before. Again, it's graph of oscillation, so it's displacement as a function of time. And again, simply by looking at the profile, we can get one point on our curve. Because at x equals lambda over 2, and at time t equals 0, we know that the displacement, once again, is 0. So our curve goes through here. And again, what we need to do is determine whether, as the wave moves to the right, the displacement initially goes up or goes down. So again, have a look at the profile. Imagine what happens as time progresses. So a short time interval after t equals naught, the profile will have moved would have moved along here and this time we can see that displacement goes from being 0 at t equals naught to some positive value so when it comes to drawing the graph of the oscillation we know that it's going to go in the positive direction and it's going to look something like that. For part C, we want the graph of the oscillation at a point on the wave where x equals 3 lambda over 4, so 3 quarters of a wavelength along, so about here. Go through the same process, so Displacement versus time. Well, now at t equals naught, and when x equals 3 lambda over 4, we can see that the displacement is equal to negative of the amplitude. So this time we're going to start off at this point, and again we know it's a sinusoidal curve, so actually we can immediately draw in what the shape is going to be. 
In this case, obviously, if you look at the position here on the curve and think about the way the wave moves, whether it moves to the left or to the right, the displacement can only increase because it's starting at its most negative value.